Hi everybody. Welcome to yoga. It's Michelle. Today's flow will be about 60 minutes long and we'll focus more on beginner yoga. So if you're ready, let's come into a comfortable, easy seat. If you need to sit on a block, take the block behind your butt to elevate your hips to lower the knees. You want your knees just a little bit lower than the hips. So if your knees are all the way up here, pretty good sign. You need a block or a stack of books. So if you're ready, close down your eyes, take your left hand to your belly and your right hand to your heart. And just begin to breathe and notice your breath. The purpose of today's class is to help you get out of your mind and into your bodies. So just a little break of everything that's going on around. And just take time to nurture your overall well-being, mind, body, and spirit. When you're ready, we're going to seal off the lips and activate our ujjayi breathing, our yoga breath. Yoga breath, breathing in and out of our nose, constricting the muscles in the very back of your throat. Breathing in deeply and exhaling out slowly. So together we'll inhale for a count of three. Pause, see if you can take another little sip in. And exhale for a count of three. Pause, see if there's any more stale air in your lungs to express out. And again, inhale in for three. Pause, exhale out for three. And pause. Do your best to maintain the rhythm of this breath throughout the class. If you want to make your three of four then your exhales become just a little bit longer than your inhales. Set an intention or a centering thought that keeps you focused on your breath. So if you get pulled away by a thought or a noise off your mat, you have your intention set to bring you back. When you're ready, you can blink your eyes open or you can leave your eyes closed. We'll inhale, sweep our arms all the way up to the sky, touching the palms together. And on an exhale, bringing your hands back down to your heart. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, energize your fingers and your arms. Get really long through the sides of your waist. On the exhale, try to keep that length. Hands back down to your heart. Inhale one more time. So vinyasa means to link your breath to movement. So what would your breath look like mirrored through your movement? On your next inhale, reach the arms all the way up and pause. And then exhale, float your right hand behind you and your left hand on your right knee. Gaze over your right shoulder, take a breath in. Exhale all the way out. On an inhale, you'll leave your left hand where it is and reach your right arm up and over to the left. Use your right knee to push into your left hand to create more of a side bend here. One more inhale in. Exhale out. And then inhale, let your right hand cross around in front of the body and walk your fingertips over to the right. Use your left hand, sweep up and over. You're gonna use the right hand to push your hips to the left, lowering your right elbow to the earth. Ground down with the left sit bone and reach with your left hand, gazing to the left. One more inhale here. And 
Inhale, push down in order to rise with the arms and on the exhale, twist. Left hand behind you, right hand on the left knee. Gaze over your left shoulder. So one of the things that keeps me focused in my practice is my drishti, where my eyes are looking. Either set your gaze on something small or close your eyes when you get that opportunity. On your next inhale, we'll leave the right hand where it is and sweep your left arm up and over. Left arm back by the ear, left knee pressing into right hand, creating more of a side body stretch. Set your gaze, your drishti, conscious breathing, and I'm gonna add one more to your to-do list, your checklist within each and every pose. On your next exhale, you'll take the left arm and press around the front of the room, the front of your mat, walk your left fingertips out, left hand extends from your left hip, right arm reaches up, maybe the left elbow comes down, maybe it doesn't. Push down your right sit bone to reach a little more with your right hand. On your next inhale, push down in order to rise, lifting up both arms. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Take your hands behind you, fingertips face your feet, separate your feet, hip bone distance apart, reverse tabletop. Lift up your hips, breathe into your belly, lift, float, or inflate your belly with your inhale. Let your head drop back if it makes sense, stick your tongue out and <sighs> like a lion. Two more, inhale, inflate your belly, Exhale, one more. Inhale, bring your chin to your chest, lower your seat back down. You're gonna cross at your ankles and come up and over to all fours. Spread your fingers nice and wide lining up the wrist, the inside of the elbows, and the shoulders. So as you roll your elbows back, you broaden through the collarbones, drawing the shoulder blades back towards your hips. Now we talked about our ujjayi breathing, so make sure you're breathing. We talked about drishti, where your gaze is, and now bandhas. At the beginning of your inhale, engage Mula Bandha, the space between your sit bones. On an exhale, Uddiyana Bandha, it's the knitting in of your ribs, the cinching of your waist. Now be careful here because the upper back wants to round. Just be mindful and draw the shoulders back and down. Awesome. We'll take a few rounds of cat cows where we inhale, let the belly go, broaden through the collarbones, lift the gaze, lift the tail. Exhale, feel the earth beneath your hands, your shins and your feet, round your back body and hollow out your front body, drawing your tailbone to the back of your knees and your chin to chest. We'll take two more rounds just like that. Inhale, articulating through the spine, moving with the same rhythm as your breath. Remember the slight little pause at the top. And then we start to exhale from the low back, the mid back, and then the upper back, and then the, the neck. Find the pause where there's no breath, hollow and scoop the belly. Inhale, let the belly go, pick the feet up and tuck your toes. And exhale, round and curl. One more just like that. 
the slower you move, the better your body's going to respond. Let's bring it back to a neutral spine. So a neutral spine is what do you want your back to look like when you're standing? Do you want it rounded? Do you want your butt sticking out? No, you wanna just find the natural curves in the lumbar region, around the shoulders, the, the upper middle back. Dial your fingertips right to right and left to left and then move from side to side. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. We're gonna bring our knees a little closer together, bring the ankles together and sit all the way back on our heels. Reach back for your little pinky toe. Make sure all 10 toes are on the mat, squeezing the knees and the inner legs. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Turn your the back of your hands to press together and then we'll just do a few wrist circles, warming up the wrists. And if you've ever had a wrist injury, like a broken wrist, you probably went to physical therapy and did little exercises like this keeping constant contact with your hands, reversing the circle if you haven't already. Taking our attention away from the toes. The next inhale, interlace your fingers, push your palms forward and up, pull your lower belly back, lift your gaze, smile, and on an exhale, circle your arms around, bring your hands to the mat, pick up your feet and give your feet a little tap. Awesome. We're gonna flip our palms, fingertips face each other. You're gonna bend your elbows cause this is probably really intense. So if it's too much, you can do one at a time. But if you bend the elbows, it really does help. You can even lower your chest down towards the hands. You can wiggle your fingers, make rip, make a fist. But if you're someone who is on your phone a lot, texting or on the computer a lot, this is really good for the wrist. Or handstands, really good for warming them up. Awesome. We're gonna keep our knees together and we're gonna sit all the way back on our heels. So here we are stretching the front of the thighs, the kneecaps and the, the ankles. So if you're feeling a lot of tension, you can take your block and you can place it between your feet and sit on it. This really does help. On an inhale, we'll sweep our arms out and up. On an exhale, you're going to take your left hand down to the left, your right ear to your right shoulder in a gentle stretch. Maybe shake your head no, maybe yes, look up, look down, or maybe just lingering here is enough. On an inhale, we'll sweep the arms up, bring the head back to neutral. And then on your next exhale, you'll bring your right hand to the right, your left hand nice and lightly on your head, giving it a gentle stretch just by walking your fingertips out is good enough. Don't force the head down. Shake your head no, or do whatever you did on the other side. Look up down and back to center. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, take your hands all the way back down. We're going to bring ourselves into a sphinx pose. So coming onto your elbows, your thighs, and the tops of your feet. Elbows underneath your shoulders. 
forearms, wrists, and hands are in one straight line. Pull the elbows back towards your hips. Lift your lower belly to the spine, but relax everything below your waist. Hold here, steady your gaze, conscious breathing, and your bandhas. So that's your checklist in every pose. Am I breathing? Is my gaze set? Am I activating my bandhas? That keeps me really present in my practice. I tend to be someone that gets easily distracted, if you haven't noticed already. Take one more breath here. We're gonna walk the left hand out a little bit and take the right arm and thread it through the hole over to the left for a shoulder stretch. So the right arm is above your chest and your left arm is forward. If you wanted more, you could walk your left hand over to the right. And if this isn't enough, you can bring your arms down closer to your chest. Palms down or up, it's up to you. I recommend try a little bit of everything. Remember, don't force yourself into the pose. Breathe. Smile. One more breath here. We're going to bend the left knee. Take your left knee and hike it over to the left. So the left knee lines up with your left hip. We're gonna take the left hand forward and over to the left and then up to the sky and open up for a really good feel good twist. Don't worry about the shoulder being down or your knee, just breathe for three, Two, and one. We're going to slide the left leg back, bring the left forearm back, take your right arm out to the right, and then bring your right hand out next to your left. Lift up the elbows, take the left hand, and thread it through over to the right. Nice gentle shoulder stretch. You can leave the right hand and just rest your forehead, or if you went a little more with the right hand, walk it to the left. Have your checklist. Are you breathing? Are your eyes closed or are you rested? your gaze on one thing. When our eyes are moving all over the place, our breath tends to get short and choppy or sometimes even non-existent. So take that with you off your mat. We're going to bend the right knee, move the right knee to the right. Start to take your right arm over to the right. Lift the right arm up to the sky and open up to a feel good twist. For three. Two. And one. Let's slowly come all the way back to our right forearm. Take your left arm to the left for a brief moment and then left elbow or both elbows underneath your shoulders, Sphinx pose. One more inhale here. Bring your elbows back a little bit more. Start to grip your mat with your fingertips. Press down into the tops of the feet and activate your leg bones now. 
draw your belly in and up and lift your thighs off the mat for a forearm plank on the tops of the feet. If it's too much, lower your knees. It's the same thing. It'll work just as good for five, four, three. You can even move between both two and one. We're going to lower all the way down, slide our hands back underneath our shoulders, tuck the toes, inhale, peel your spine away from the mat, untuck the toes and sit back on your heels for child pose. Take a deep breath in as the fingertips stretch all the way out. Open up your mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> Inhale, lift yourself up to all fours, preparing for our downward facing dog. Look at your hands, spread your fingers nice and wide. Press down into the index finger knuckles and your thumbs. Wrap the triceps back towards your hips. Feel the shoulders broaden and draw in towards your spine. Pick up your feet and tuck your toes. Lift your low belly. Lift your knees. Start to lift your hips and push back to your downward facing dog. Keep your knees nice and soft here and start to pedal out your heels. Shake your head no. And shake your head yes. And let's take a few moments just to fine tune our down dog. So gripping the mat with your fingertips, arms are straight and strong, side body's getting longer, lower belly and ribs are in, sit bones back and up, heels working their way towards the earth, soft knees. We're going to go through our vinyasa. So inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees and hover your heart halfway, lining up the wrists and your elbows and the elbows and shoulders. Tops of the feet come down, pull your heart forward and up, lifted cobra. If this is too much, lift your hips back up lower to your elbows and find your way back into sphinx pose for five four three two and one on an exhale lift your lower belly lift your hips tuck your toes Push with your hands, arms straight and strong. Lift your hips back and up, down dog. Soft knees, or if you can, start to straighten out your legs. As long as the, the upper back doesn't round, you want to push back. Lift your heels, look to the top of the mat, and take little baby steps all the way up. Take your time getting there. Maybe even move slower than you care to because of all those sensations. When you get there, two fist distance between your hands is a good cue. Grab a hold of opposite elbows and allow yourself to hang heavy. Shake your head no and yes. Sway from side to side, bending one knee, then the other. Take one more deep breath in. Quality exhale. Ah. We're going to release our fingertips to line up with the toes or hands on the shins. We're going to lift the spine just halfway, finding length. So we want to take any roundness out, just simply 
simply by bending the knees, lifting up halfway. On an exhale, you can grab the back of your legs and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Like a wave in motion, moving through it not to it. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, let it go. We're going to slowly soften the knees and ragdoll our way all the way up to standing. When you get there, Roll your shoulder blades up and down your back a few times. Reverse it. Awesome. Now we're going to take our hands behind us, interlacing your fingers, pressing the palms together. Notice how the ribs bow out in this pose. Draw the ribs in and down, belly in and back. Take your knuckles over to the right hip and bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Lean into those sensations with movement or breath or stillness. Inhale your gaze back up, press the palms together, open up the chest, draw the belly in, sit bones towards your heel, and then knuckles to the left hip and left ear to your left shoulder. We tend to hold a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders. So it's really important to take time to do these little stretches with deep breathing. Inhale back to center, keeping the hands the way they are. Soften your knees and begin to fold all the way over. Let the arms ride off your back. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. On an inhale, keep your feet apart. Bend your knees. Reach your arms forward and find chair. On an exhale, open up the arms and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften your knees, place your hands down. Inhale, step your right foot back. Exhale, step your left foot back. Inhale, your high plank, shifting the weight over your wrist. Exhale, lower the knees, hover the heart halfway. Inhale, tops of the feet, your cobra pose or sphinx pose, coming back to your elbows. Inhale, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, look back center and up. Exhale, lift up the hips, tuck your toes, push it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg back and up. Exhale, bring the thigh towards your belly, look between your hands and step your right foot up. If the right foot doesn't make it, give it some assistance with your right hand. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bring your left foot to meet your right. This time, all ten toes or your ankles touch. Lift your ten toes and rise up chair. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Push your hips back so your knees line up with your ankles. And then inhale, press down, rise up. Lift your kneecaps, firm your thighs. Lift your belly. Lengthen your tail towards your feet. Inhale, your gaze is forward, soften the knees, lift your toes, find chair. Inhale, 
Exhale, open up the arms and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you bend your knees, placing your hands to the earth, and inhale as you step your left foot back. Exhale your right foot. Inhale your plank, you shift the weight over your wrist. Exhale, you lower the knees and hover your heart. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lift the belly, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step the left foot through. If it doesn't make it, use your left hand and give it that assistance. Inhale. Exhale, your right foot meets your left and fold. Inhale, lift all ten toes, rise up chair. Exhale, sink deeper, move your hips back where the knees line up with your ankles. Inhale, press your toes down, rise to standing. Lift your gaze, shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, gaze is forward. Lift your toes, bend your knees, find chair. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften the knees. The hands come down and step your right foot back, lunge. Lower your right knee and inhale, rise up to a low crescent lunge. Exhale, lift your gaze. Palms touch or not, it's completely up to you. Inhale, gaze is forward. Lower your right hand, lift your left arm. For a lunge twist. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Lower your left hand, frame your left foot and shift the hips back, straightening out your left leg for half split pose. Steady your gaze, conscious breathing and bandha. On your next inhale, bend the left knee, tuck your back toes, lift the right knee, and step it back, high plank. Inhale here, exhale the knees, hover the heart. Inhale, pull the heart forward and up, cobra pose. Exhale, lift the hips, press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. This time, bend the knee. Open up the hips so the right knee is the highest point on the bottom. And then bring your gaze under your left armpit to keep the right shoulder and left shoulder parallel to the mat. Roll around your right ankle and reverse it. Take your right knee back in like a circle three times. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Look between your hands and step your right foot all the way up. Look forward. Exhale. Step your left foot to meet your right. Forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, lift all 10 toes, rise up chair. Exhale is where you sink deeper. Inhale is where you rise. Stay there, go for a back bend. Inhale, back up. Exhale, soften the knees, find chair. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down. Your left foot steps back, lunge. 
lower the left knee, untuck the toes, rise up your low lunge. Inhale, squeezing your right butt back and your left thigh forward. Exhale. Inhale, reaching forward, left hand down, right arm lifts, lunge twist. And lower your right hand to frame your right foot. Pull the hips up and back. Lift your right toes, half split. Imagine pulling your right heel back and your left knee forward simultaneously. One more breath here. Inhale, lunge it forward, tuck the toes, lift the knee. Exhale, step it back, high plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, your low push-up. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts. Bend the knee, open the hip, making your left knee the highest point on the body, and look under the right armpit to keep your left shoulder from hiking up. Roll around your right ankle, or left ankle. Make sure your right ankle is aligned with your shin and the knee, and then we'll take the left knee in and circle it around for three. For two and one. When the knee comes in, look forward, step the left foot up, inhale and exhale your right foot, meet your left, forward fold. Last time doing chair, lift all ten toes, bend the knees, rise, exhale sink deeper. Inhale, toes down, rise to standing, find a back bend on the exhale, lift the kneecap, lift the quad. Inhale, gaze is forward, soften the knees, open up the arms and swan dive all the way over forward fold. Last little bit of this flow. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your hands come down. You step back with the right foot first. Keep the right knee up. Inhale, rise to a high crescent. So if you want to go deep, bend the knee. If you want to back off a little bit, don't bend the knee so much. On an exhale, come halfway down. Torso's parallel to the earth. We're going to inhale, sweep the arms back. And maybe lift that right leg to warrior three. Or maybe you keep the right foot down. Or maybe you lift and lower it a few times, gaining strength in your left foot. For three, keep lifting the belly. When you get into these balancing poses, it's really important to find that dristi. On your next inhale, bend the left knee. Step the right foot back and sweep it up. Lower the right knee back down. On an exhale, circle your arms, framing your left foot. You're going to keep your right hand down. Don't let the knee go over the ankle. And inhale, sweep the left arm up. Grab a hold of your right foot or ankle. If you want more, look over your left shoulder. You can even come to your right elbow here. On your next inhale, we'll release the grip, tuck the toes, lift the knee, and step it back, high plank pose. Inhale, and exhale, low push up. Inhale, cobra, and exhale back, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right foot steps all the way up between your hands. Inhale, look forward, lean forward, pick up the left foot, left foot meets right, forward fold. Inhale, look up, open up the arms, lead with the heart, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, find a little back bend. Inhale, gaze is forward, soften the knees, open up the arms, and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down, your left foot steps back, lunge. Inhale, rise to your crescent. Inhale, come half crescent. Stay there, sweep the arms back, lean in, find your warrior three. And if you wanna keep tapping the ground with that foot, or maybe you just wanna keep the foot down because you're balancing. Pressing into all four corners of the right foot for three, two, and one. Bend the knee, step the left foot back, inhales the arms sweep forward and up, lower the back knee. Exhale, your hands come down and the right hand reaches back for your left foot or ankle. You lowered the elbow on the other side, lower on the other side, just be mindful of the knee, not going over the ankle. Inhale your way back up. Exhale, release, lift the knee. Inhale, find high plank. Exhale, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Almost done. Inhale, left leg lifts. You're doing great. Exhale, step the left foot up between your hands. Inhale, lean into it. Step your right foot next to your left. Forward fold. Separate your feet. The width of your mat turn your heels in slightly your toes out slightly start to lower your hips as low as you can just before your heels lift stop moving your hips and then find some wiggling room for yourself so you're nice and comfortable the goal in the pose is to get the toes to face forward as you can see i'm not quite there yet but when i started i was way out there be mindful of your knees the joints if it hurts there, back off. Reel it in, reel it out, do whatever you have to do. Take a deep breath in as the inside of the knees and elbows press together. One more deep breath in. We'll take the hands down, turn the heels out so the toes are facing back forward. The feet are a little bit wider than your hips. You'll slide your right hand inside towards the right foot, or if you have a block, that's a good, good time to use it. Bring your left hand to your hip and the left hand, or the left hand to the side. If you want to bend the knee, you can bend your right knee, get a little more into the twist. If you want to go for a wrap and bind, you can wrap and bind. If you have a whole wrap and bind, you can take the right hand underneath. And if you have a bird of paradise, you can fly that right leg. You have one more breath here. Lowering both hands, soften your knees, grab a hold of opposite elbows, shake your head no, end with yes, and sway from side to side. What was that noise? <laughs> hmm. 
and then we'll go to the other side, left hand to the inside of the left foot, right hand to the hip, or right hand to the sky. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. If you went for a half bind or a full bind, same. If you went to Bird of Paradise, Bird of Paradise. If you're like, what the heck is a Bird of Paradise? I'll show you. You bring your right foot in, you gaze forward, you push down with the right foot to lift with your left. Stay there with a the bent knee or extend the left foot out. One more breath here. Lower your hands, grab a hold of opposite elbows, soften the knees, and sway around side to side, forward and back, whichever serves you. We're going to bring our feet closer together, bend the knees, and lower your seat to your heels, keeping your hands on the ground for balance, or bring your hands to your heart. We'll open up the knees and lower the seat to the to the floor or a block. Take your feet together, hands to your ankles. Take a deep breath in, pull your heart forward. Open up your mouth and say, ah. Again, deep breath in. And ah. One more. Ah. Awesome. We're going to keep the right heel in and come into pigeon pose. Take your left leg and sweep it all the way back behind you. So your right knee lines up with your right hip like this. If you're feeling pretty flexible, that right knee can go out to the right further, but not in to the left. Your left foot lines up with the outer left hip. Come on to the elbows or your belly. Walk your hands forward or over to the left. You choose. So just 30 seconds here. Quality breath. This is when you should really feel your breath expansive, moving through the ribs, the front, the, the side, and all the way up into the back. Exhaling out nice and slow. Let the breath on the exhale linger. Feel how the body just softens and settles in to space. Start to bring yourself to your elbows if you're not there already. Take a moment there. Take your hands to your to the ground and lift your chest. Take a breath here. And then we're gonna swing the left leg all the way around. Left heel extends from the hip and you'll bring your right foot over the left knee. Option to wrap your left elbow around the right leg, right hand behind you, or you can inhale, lift the left arm up and hook your right elbow or left elbow to the outside of your right leg. more breath. Try to get nice and tall here. Bring it back around to center. Take your right knee in. Interlace your fingers. Sit up nice and tall. 
stretch your right foot out coming into staff pose hands right by your hips not to push you down to lift you up my arms are a little bit longer sometimes people's arms aren't as long so if you have blocks they'd be good here but if your arms are long like mine don't push so much that you're trying to lift your hips shoulders back and down spine is long bring your left foot in interlace sit up tall don't bring it all the way in and then you're hunching forward with your shoulders move the foot out be mindful we're going to move the left heel in and stretch your right leg back for pigeon pose on the other side so check in with your alignment left knee to the left outer hip right foot to the right outer hip right thigh is pressing down pulling forward left hip is pulling back and in Two more breaths. Really feel the lower belly lifting to the spine. Pull the breath through the sides of the waist and all the way up to the collarbones. Exhale out slowly, feeling the body soften, the face soften. Just a sense of letting go and a sense of acceptance of where you're at. Come up to the hands and pause. And then swing your right leg around to the right. Right heel lines up with the hip. Sometimes it goes over here. Just be mindful of that. Left foot over to the right and then we twist left arm behind you if you hooked your elbow hook the elbow deep breath in breathing from the base of the spine all the way up to the collarbones feeling the crown of the head lightly floating upward Bring it back to center. Bring your left foot in. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Wherever that foot is, doesn't matter how close, that's not what it's about. It's about your spine. Make sure the right hip is pulling back, not pushing forward. Go ahead, both legs out, staff pose. Pulling the belly to the back body as you inhale, broadening the collarbones at the top of your inhale. Take your right foot in, interlace your fingers, sit up nice and tall. And then stretch both legs out, inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, fold over your legs the very best you can. Wherever your hands land, let them. Take the shoulders away from the ears by pulling them back and down. If your hands are still on the mat, that's perfectly fine. One more breath here. Inhale, we'll slowly roll ourselves up. And on the exhale, slowly roll yourself all the way down. Take a moment in your Shavasana just to observe how your body's feeling after the poses that we did.
Hopefully you didn't force anything. Hopefully you just breathed it out. Listen to your body and let go. Start to bend your knees, bringing your knees into your belly. Lifting up your head, neck, and shoulders. Give yourself a nice, well-deserved hug. Lower the head back down and rock it side to side, massaging the muscles along your spine. And then take one hand on each knee and circle your knees around in opposite directions. Reverse your direction. And then we'll come into bridge pose. Feet are hip bone distance apart. If you have a block, I like to place it between my feet, but you can place it between your shins your knees or your inner thighs. Hands by your side. If you have any issues with your low back, scoot your feet further away from your butt. If everything's good there, bring your feet back as close as you can. On an exhale, start to peel your spine away from the mat, coming all the way up to the top of your shoulders to the best of your ability. Lift your chin off your chest. Interlace your fingers, make a fist. Rock side to side, tucking the arm bones under the body. And breathe. Release the bind and reach your arms up and over your head. And then we'll do the next one five times. Inhale. On an exhale, you'll lower the back and your arms all the way down at the same time. And then you'll inhale, lift back up, reach the arms back. That's one. Exhale, lowering leg or back and arms. Two. Inhale. And exhale. Three. Inhale. And exhale. Four. Last time, inhale, keep the back up, bring your arms back down, pause here, squeeze your block, your inner legs a little more, try not to squeeze just your glutes, and then we'll slowly lower all the way down. Lift your right leg up for a gentle hamstring stretch. If you have a strap, bring the strap around the ball of your foot. If you don't, your hands will work just as good. Creating resistance to push your leg into. Keep the right hip grounded, keep your right heel flexed. If you want a little more, lift up your head, neck, and shoulders and kick your left foot out. And then gently Lower your head back down. Shoulders away from your ears. One more breath here. On an inhale, slide the left knee in if it's not already. And cross your right knee over your left. Interlace your fingers on one of the knees and rock it side to side.
from here, you have, you're going to take your hands, your left hand is going to grab the top of the right foot. Your right hand is going to grab the top of your left foot. You're going to slide your left foot into the crease of your left leg. If that's not possible, wherever the foot goes. Keep the right hand attached to the left foot and see if you can lower down the left knee. And then see if it's at all possible to lower down your right knee. Feeling a stretch in the front of your right thigh. And inhale, lift the knee up, lift the other knee, separate your feet, lift your legs to the sky. And here comes my baby right here. That's my baby. Hands behind the leg for support. Roll around your wrist a few times or your ankle. If you don't need the support, roll around your wrist. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Relax your hands and feet for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your right foot down for a stretch, the hamstring stretch on the left side. Strap at the ball of the foot to pull the toes down. Keep the foot flexed. Create tension. If you want more, lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Slide your right foot out. Lower your head back down for five. You can't tell, but I am energetically pushing my leg into my hand. And I feel that sensation all the way down into my glute. And I feel the energy of my left hip pressing down into the earth. And this right hip pulling up towards my right shoulder. One more breath. Sliding the right knee in, crossing your left knee over the right. Relax your hands. You can rock it once or twice side to side. And then you're going to reach around for your feet. Right hand grabs top left foot. Left hand grabs top right foot. Start to take the left foot to the crease of the right hip. Lower the right knee. And then maybe lower the left knee. Don't force it. Just do the best you can. Inhale, we'll lift the left knee, then the right knee. Let go of the right foot, lift it up. Let go of the left foot. Roll around your ankle, roll around your wrist. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then we'll come into happy baby pose hands to the inner arches or inside the legs to the outer arches. Let the knees come towards the shoulders, the side of the body or close to the earth. Keep your tailbone down. If you want more, try kicking into your hands. Maybe try to do one leg at a time. Just play with it. Move slow, especially if you have tight hamstrings and inner thighs. We'll release, bringing the knees back in and crossing right knee over left. Open up your arms wide like a T. And on an exhale, you're going to eagle wrap your right elbow under the left. 
and then your right hand will come around to either grab a hold of your thumb, maybe your wrist, or maybe hands in prayer. I like my thumb. We're gonna lift up our head, neck, and shoulders. Squeeze the arms together and the knees together. Chin is off the chest. And we're just gonna tap the elbows, lifting the low back and the upper back for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your head, open up your arms wide like a T, lower your left foot and scoot your hips to the right. And then we're gonna bring the knees to the left. If you already are feeling sensation, uncross your knees and bring both knees. If you want more, hook the right foot behind your left. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale back to center, lift your knees, uncross, center your hips, Lift your legs, cross your left over right. Eagle wrap your left elbow under the right. Your left hand grabs the wrist, the thumb, or hands in prayer. You choose. Lift the elbows, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Chin's not on the chest, chin's not all the way up, but somewhere in the middle. And then lift the shoulders and the low back. Tapping knees to elbows for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Open up your arms wide like a T. Place your right foot down. Scoot your hips to the left and knees to the right. Sometimes we have things going on in our bodies, our shoulders, our elbows, our wrists, our knees, our sides, our back. You want to be mindful of that and use a block if you need to. Create balance, but don't hurt yourself. Uncross and center your hips. Bringing your knees back into your belly for one more big hug in. Thank you all for tuning in. Subscribing and liking and commenting. I love the comments. When you're ready, we're going to move into our final pose. Lower the arms down, out by your side, palms up. Lower your feet down. Slide your right foot to the right corner of the mat. Let the foot relax out. Let it flop open like a book. And then extend left foot out. Both feet relax. You can give them a little shake. Give your shoulders a little shake, hips, everything. Take a deep breath in. Open up your mouth and say, So you want to linger here for at least five minutes or longer. Create a little space between your lips. Relax your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Find your inner smile. Find that little sparkle in your eyes. And thank you for joining me. Namaste, yogis.